Let's do this in a couple of parts. First of all, it's a good idea to have a mouse attached. It really helps when you're doing all the functions with SketchUp. As you can see, I have SketchUp on my computer already, but if you don't, you need to go to Google and look up SketchUp for schools. And you're gonna see one that says product. That's the one you wanna get. Then you will get started. You are a student. Although, I think if you put that you were an educator, it automatically is put up on your desktop. But let's just stick with student for now. Continue and launch. It may ask you for your Windows sign in, sign in with uh, Microsoft and uh, just put in your school password. That's all they're asking for. Okay, this is what, you're gonna get a screen. If you have other projects, you're gonna get a screen like this. And you will create new. Either way, you're gonna create new. Okay, you're gonna see a lady there. You're gonna grab your mouse and you're just gonna kinda select over her like that. She will turn blue or whatever the color you have on your computer. It could be green, and you're going to erase her. Okay, let's go to the next part. The next part is scrolling and moving. You see right down at the bottom there, there is a hand. You're gonna click on that hand. When you use your left, click your left mouse, you can move it around like this. If you push down on the scroll, you can really do some orbiting. But we just want to get really quite close here. As you can see, that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of moving it around. Okay, I'm scrolling in. play around all day with this if you want. Okay, let's stop there. This video is already too long. So uh, let's get to the next part.